टॉप के मोस्ट व्यूड यूट्यूब वीडियोस हाय गाइस माय नेम इज मनीष कुमार एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल क्रिएट सिस्टम डिजाइन ऑफ टॉप के मोस्ट व्यूड वीडियोस सो व्हाट आर एप्लीकेशन गन डू आर एप्लीकेशन विल रिटर्न टॉप के वीडियोस विच आर मोस्ट व्यूड इन द गिवेन टाइम सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन एंड सी यू इन द सेशन हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे we will create system design of top ke you with youtube videos so let's start with the functional list requirement and that is our step 1 so functional requirement so what the system can do it can show the top ke videos in given time and time can be in minutes and hours and days and what we will keep out of scope here is we will keep uh, the video category like show me for this particular video category top videos and all so we will not keep that in the scope of this video so i think we have the functional requirements here so let's go to the step 2 and the step 2 is non functional requirement so in the nfr side the system should be highly available and it should be scalable system and response should be in few seconds so it's like low latency and what we want here we want to store data up to 10 years okay so we have the functional requirement non functional requirements now let's go to the step 3 and the step 3 is capacity math let's make some assumptions here one is like say 1 billion videos watch per day so what data we need to store here let's talk about that so data will be here video id like this video and uh, watch time what time this video got watch and if if like our requirement will be that at this location show me top ke video we most probably will be storing location also but because our functional requirement is not uh, asking for that feature so we don't want to uh, store extra information so i will say like this video watch time this and also we are not recording duration also because that also not needed in our functional requirement but keep in mind if the functional requirement will be something like okay show me the top ke videos which seen for like you know at least 1 minute 2 minute something like that then we most probably will be storing duration also here but in this case we will not store duration so data and video id uh, video id and watch time i think that information is enough watch time will tell us that what time this video was watched so when we calculate that in these 5 minute window which video got watched we can easily figure it out so maybe the data size can be so let's call it maybe 100 byte just to be safe aside so 100 byte now if you see how much data will be in a day so data size will be 1 billion which means 10 raised to power 9 into 100 byte and this will turn out to be 10 raised to power 9 into bytes 10 to the power 3 byte is kb 6 is mb and 9 is gb so it's a 100 gb data per day so data size is 100 gb per day which is like daily 100 gb data gonna grow so this is definitely continuously growing db so uh, and uh, definitely not relational database needed here for us so maybe uh, we can simply use cassandra here cost effective and uh, con continuously growing growing and its cluster node will make it highly available and scalable 
this is highly scalable so i think we need we will use cassandra in this case to store the data of views so uh, i guess this is pretty uh, good on the capacity match size i know 100 gb per day so per second this one this will be just mbs of data so uh, not a big deal so i think we can move to next step now and next step will be api what api we need so api will be get top key video and this will be i think user id the user want to see the video and time duration okay so uh, i think this seems pretty reasonable on all four things functional requirement nfrs capacity mat and the top key videos so now we can get into the design so let's start with a very simple basic design so this is user and user is like calling that to our service that give me the top k video service and user is talking to top k video service and top k video service so basically um, people are watching video on the youtube and our application will be getting that data from youtube so let's assume there is a video streaming here it will be kafka or something so we are not too much worried about it it's just like something where we can get the information that yes this video got got like someone watching this video and all so uh, view recording service here so our view recording service will be listening from the uh, Kafka and will record the data for the views. So the data is here and it will be recording our data here. So this will be our view data which we said it will be Cassandra and this view recording will be storing the information in Cassandra that yes these are the views and these. Uh, so now Cassandra has the information assume something like video id and timestamp so uh, now cassandra has the information and top k when user is saying give me top k video in five last five minutes top k video is going in the database and saying like where time is like this give me all the video ids and then group them by the video id and show the top k's so this will be the i think the overall how data will flow so when someone watching the video in the youtube the view recording service is recording that information in the database and when the user want to see what are the top key videos it will fetch that view information and give it to user so if we go back to the functional requirement so it is like show the top key video in the given time which makes sense and time can be in the minute hours and days which makes sense like our top key video if user will say give me in the last two days so it will go and check the timestamp where timestamp is within last two days it will get the data for that so that is perfectly fine and we we are using cassandra which is continuously growing db so we can store data up to 10 years so from functional requirement point of view this is perfect design the question comes here is the NFRs. So let's get into that. NFR, first NFR is saying highly available. Is our system highly available? Cassandra DB, yes, that is cluster node. It can take care if one node is failure, it another will take care of it. So this is highly available. But our top key video service view recording, these are not stateless services. So if one of them is down, they will fall. So definitely we need to make them horizontally scalable. And to do that, we need to take out the state of it so basically the session so session will be out of these services which means oh, i picked the wrong one sorry so here will be the gateway who will take care of the session so here is the gateway here is the session service and it will take the session so 
now services are stateless now we have the gateway in place so gateway service will be taking care of auth redirecting and rate limiter might also be needed here just to make sure we can't have a certain control and not get our application broken so now because it's horizontally scalable and multiple instances of a, a service will be running according to load so we need load balancer definitely here so so now let's see our system is highly available user top key video service it's like multi it can spin up more instances if needed if load is increasing and like you know if any instance fail load balancer will redirect that this to another database is handling everything is perfect we are the highly available is scalable yes our service is horizontally scalable and uh, database is also cassandra continuously growing database it is awesome so you have a scalable system but now the response should be in the few seconds so let's think about this this is going to be tricky here now so how will it work if let's say user want to see the data for last three days so what we do we will go in the cassandra we will fetch all the videos information which is in last three days and then we will group them by the video id to make sure that the you know sum up them with the video id and then we will be showing uh, finding out the top key which will be we will implement some sorting so that will also be at the top of the fetching and uh, grouping and n log n of sorting so that might not be good in terms of latency it might start taking more time especially if let's say we increase time if, I, if let's say uh, the user says like give me the data in last 20 days so then like and and 1 billion videos getting watched in a day so we are dealing here 20 billion rows and grouping and summing it up that will not be a low latency system so what we need to do here we need to implement a, a caching here maybe radish which is persistent so we will be having radish here and redis will have this data pre-recorded means will keep a cumulative per minute data something like this minute duration video id watched let's say n number of times so uh, the request will come that give me the data in last five minutes so we will not be fetching entire one million billion rows from cassandra and grouping them by video ids because the grouped data per minute is already here we will get only for that five minute duration we will fetch the data and club the group video ids for them and show it to the user in that way we will reduce lot of grouping effort so in the minute level i think that will be uh, perfect same thing we will be having for uh, days and hours so it's like hours duration and video id and the number of times watched and and what will be happening here every minute whenever the view recording will be recording the data here it will be a service here which will be update caching what it will be doing or rather having update caching maybe we will have a queue here and there will be workers who will be continuously pulling the data from queue and updating caching workers updating caching and also updating the database also so now it's a not tightly coupled video watched view recording just put in the queue 
workers are like continuously going and picking up we are not handling the category wise information otherwise maybe we can use uh, kafka also so here we are fine if we use any other queue in fact sqs will also work perfectly fine here so uh, now uh, workers going from the queue taking okay this video id watched current winner data current hour data and today's data it will go here and it will update all these three once the minute is over that data is kind of a frozen or a static data now so now if the user says like show me the top key videos in these two hours so we will go here we will fetch the data for those two hours from here and we'll find out uh, top key videos uh, we have to show to the user so i think uh, that seems like a uh, good design i think we covered uh, highly available scalable and low latency and we uh, have all the functional requirements in place so i think that's a good design guys so thank you so much please make sure you share your uh, feedback in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much